Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to get started with SPSS. If you need help with download and installation of SPSS, comment below, and I will send you a link how to do it. On the bottom, there are two tabs, Data and Variable. In the Data tab, we will input our data, and in the Variable tab, we will define our variables. In this tutorial, we are going to analyze whether data of Paris. So the first variable I am going to define is ID. It is just a serial number for months. The width is the number of characters allowed, so we will keep the default value. Decimals is the number of decimals in this variable, I will keep it to zero. Label is the display name of the variable. I will call it serial number. Measure is the type of variable. In this case, it is nominal. Scale variable can be quantified. It can be any number or measurement of a quantity. For example, age, distance, weight, amount, etc. Ordinal variables are comparable. For example, level of satisfaction, education level, yes and no questions, etc. Nominal variables cannot be compared. For example, religion, gender, country, etc. Let's add the other variables. We will select string because it is text. So here we have a yes and no question. So it is an ordinal variable. We will assign 0 to no and 1 to yes. Make decimals to zero. Let's copy the data from Excel file to Data tab. Click on Value Labels button 
it will allow us to see values assigned to the variables. Go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Frequencies. Here we will analyze in how many months it rained and in how many months it did not rain. Also, we will find the range of temperatures, minimum and maximum values, standard deviation. So it did not rain in 4 months, and it rained in 8 months. We can also copy the graph to Microsoft Word. Let's analyze the data for minimum temperature. We will check the mean, range, minimum and maximum temperatures. We will select histogram this time. Here we have mean, range, minimum and maximum temperatures. Here is the histogram of minimum temperatures. That's all for today. Subscribe for more videos. If you need help for downloading and installation of SPSS, comment below. Have a good day.